Welcome and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taghi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this show is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your overall health and well-being. And that's very important for us in this day and age where we're constantly bombarded with different information about food, diet, nutrition, and we're left confused over what are the things that we can actually do to improve our health. And the aim of the show is for us to give you that information. Now, that information is great and important when we know if health is an important value to us. Values are things that are important for us in our everyday life. If we find these things important, then we are going to act upon those values. So say, for example, family is an important value in my everyday life. My religion is an important value in my everyday life. I don't need anyone to tell me this is what I need to do. I'm going to make sure that I pray or fast. I'm going to make sure that I spend time with, your, with my family. I'm going to make sure that I care for my family. I don't need anyone to tell me this is what you need to do. Yes, to have that information and knowledge and awareness is very important. But I will make sure that I will do them regardless of what's happening in my situation, regardless of what, um, what, what my current lifestyle is like. Now, health is exactly the same thing. A lot of people um, often rely on something called motivation. And a lot of people need that motivation to start making some changes. Now, motivation is great. However, the motivation runs out. But if we know that health is an important value to us, that we're going to make sure that we do something um, to help us um, achieve that value. Now, this is very important for us during the month of Ramadan, because once we um, once we become aware of these things, the month of Ramadan is the perfect starting point um, that will help us to um, improve our health and assess ourselves if health is really important to us. If it is really important to us, then we're going to make sure that we do these things that will improve our health. We don't need a GP to tell us this is what you need to do. We're going to make sure that we do it regardless. And that's how health should be an important value in your everyday life. And always remember, take it one step at a time. It doesn't have to be all of a sudden you, um, you know, start running a marathon or completely eating a balanced diet. It's one step at a time. But remember, always base your values or your goals around things that you can achieve rather than the things that you can't achieve. So if I told you now, don't think about a pink elephant. What did you do? Did you think about a pink elephant? Yes, and it's exactly the same thing when it comes to our health. If I'm constantly telling myself, don't think about those cakes or those sweets, chocolates and biscuits, I'm going to make, uh, I'm most likely going to want to eat them more. So rather than focusing on the things that you can't do, try and focus on the things that you can do. The more you focus on the things that you can do, the more likely health will be a part of your everyday life rather than just a separate entity. It will infuse as part of your daily routine and your weekly routine. That's why prioritizing your health, especially in the month of Ramadan, is that first step that you can do that will improve your health in the long run. Always remember trying to make sustainable changes, things that you can keep up with. There's no point starting something and then stopping it after a week. Um, most likely you'll stop it after a week because you can't sustain it because it's not actually achievable for you. So always try and think long term, things that I can continue doing. And why I want to continue doing it is because health is an important value to me. That's it for today's episode. Um, I hope now you understand how you can uh, value your health and how that can play um, a role in your everyday life. Thank you for joining us and Masinama.